G'day and welcome to episode 61 of the Guy Who Sews podcast. My name is Sean and this is my weekly podcast where I share my quilting adventures. Come see what I've been working on, what I've made and what is coming up in the pipeline soon. If you're new to the channel, I would love it if you take just a few moments to say hi so we all have a new friend. And I just want to welcome everybody and thank you for joining me today. So let's go ahead and get started with today's episodes with my works in progress. I did a lot of prep work this week, um, both going to the quilt show and just prepping projects and everything else. So I don't have a whole lot to show you in works in progress, but I do have a couple of things that I'm very, very excited to show you. The first one is a new pattern that I started this week, and I'll explain more about that later on. Um, it is called Express Yourself by Rowley Blake. It's a free pattern. I'll put the link in the description below. And it's um, how it's written. It's got a series of 16 blocks. I may end up making more to make it a little bit larger. I haven't decided for sure yet. I was originally going to use batiks, but I ended up using solid since it seemed to match the um, aesthetic better. And so I want to show you the two blocks that I've made so far. The first one is this beautiful red. And it has a black background. And this has turned out really nice. And it's such an easy block. It only takes like 30, 45 minutes to make um, once you get used to it. And then this is the next one that I've done in orange. I'm going to do a full rainbow. Um, actually, I have it right here in front of me. I can show you all the different colors I'm going to use. So that's what I'm going to use on this. And you'll see updates on this over the next coming weeks. And it's just a nice, fun, easy project for me. So that's what I have going on in my works in progress. Next week, I hope to have a lot more to show you. Um, but let's move on now to our work week in review, which if you're new to the channel, is just a series of videos that I put together, usually of me sewing, but um, also other events we get up to. And also we always include the doggos because everyone loves the doggos. So I hope you enjoy. So last week I asked everybody whether they choose the fabric first and then the pattern or if they choose the pattern first and then go get the fabric to suit the pattern. I am a, for the majority of stuff, am get the pattern first and then shop my stash and then go, you know, supplement it with whatever I don't have. But apparently I'm in the minority. Most people go grab fabric first, they find it, they love it at the store, which is always a good idea because you don't always see it the next time you go back and then worry about what pattern to go for next. This week's question um, was inspired by a few comments and stuff I've read during the week is I would love to know how long approximately, if you don't remember for sure, how long have you been watching the channel? I'd like to know if it's just been like something that you've just stumbled on recently or if um, you're like some of the people that have been with me from day one. I'd love to know in the comments. So in case you missed it, I brought out quite a few videos this week. Um, on Monday, I brought out the final semi-finalist in the Battle of the Fabrics. And then on Wednesday, I brought out a tutorial, which I've been wanting to do for a while. I turned a baseball jersey into a t-shirt quilt panel, and I kind of showed how to go over that. And then I also got some excellent tips from some of the viewers as well. Um, something I didn't know was that if you send out your quilt to a long armor, you need to take the buttons off your jerseys or other shirts. So if you ever do a t-shirt quilt that has buttons and you're sending it to a long armor, make sure you take the buttons off first. I always love hearing from my audience because I don't have all the answers. I just love the wealth of knowledge that you guys are willing to share with me. 
Um, moving on to Friday, we actually got down to the final two fabrics in the Battle of the Fabrics, and it's the Australia Fabric and the Snowflake. So the voting is still open. If you haven't done that, duck over to that video and put your choices in the comments because you're also voting for third and fourth place as well. I thought it'd be fun to do a bronze medal match because, you know, most tournaments do that. And then yesterday, I brought on my friend Stephanie from Stephanie Stitches. We had a blast hanging out for about an hour right before I ran off to the quilt show. And we are actually doing a solo along together, and we'd love you for to join us. Um, and it actually is this pattern that I was showing you earlier, the Express Yourself by Raleigh Blake. Um, so we got to do this over the next four or five weeks. So if you haven't, um, if you're interested, download the pattern, grab your fabrics. And it's a lot of fun because you can actually use your scraps um, for the color parts. That's what I did. I pulled out the scraps from the solo flight that I did last year. Um, this kind of that because basically the colors are just it's two five and three eight squares and two three and one eight squares. So if you got that much fabric laying around, or even if it's just totally scrappy, I think it'd be a lot of fun. So if you do that, definitely tag me, put it in Discord. I'd love to see if you're working on that project along with us as well. So upcoming videos tomorrow night, we got to have the results video for the Battle of the Fabrics. We got to find out which one is the champion. Also second, third, and fourth, because we're also voting on third and fourth place as well, which I think is a lot of fun. And it's been such a fun project. Thank you so much for everybody that's voted and been part of this little project. It's been so much fun. If you haven't voted, not too late. Make sure you get the vote, voting in tonight, um, so that way your vote counts as well. On Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, I'll be over on So Becker's channel. Um, I'm going to be her guest on her channel um, for her Friday night live. Always a lot of fun. We're going to talk about our two quilt show experiences. She went down to... QuiltCon in Atlanta last weekend, and I went to the Mid-Atlantic Quilt Festival in Hampton, Virginia. We thought it'd be fun to get together, have a chat um, about our experiences at the uh, respective festivals. So definitely check that out over at Becca's channel. If you go to my channel on Friday night looking for me, you're not going to find me, but you'll still see uh, a bunch of cool videos. And then on Saturday morning at, with Brecky of the Guy Who Sews, I'm going to have my mate Russ join me. Um, he has his own channel, Quilt Meets World, and he's a lot of fun. I'm really little really really looking forward to hanging out with him for a while and getting to know him a little better because he just seems to be a lot of fun and um, another great male quilter so definitely check that out as well so while i was at the mid-atlantic quilt show i did make a few purchases i did want to stay to a budget i did do that which was really neat and i didn't really buy a whole lot of stuff that i didn't plan on buying there was one purchase that i'm going to show you at the end that wasn't on my need list but it was kind of on the maybe if it works out thing so that's pretty cool the first thing and the main thing i went up there for was quilting rulers for my ruler work um, which you would have seen me do a couple of weeks ago i wanted to expand on my collection because i only have a few basic things so i found a really cool company up there called quilt off they're actually based in roanoke virginia which is in the western part of the state that i live in and it's run by a really nice couple and um they were very very helpful i actually got to talk to both of them yesterday afternoon and then to the husband this morning because the wife does a lot of um classes um for long arming at, at the festival so i didn't get a chance to talk to her today but she actually offered for me to go see her at lunchtime and actually test out some of the rulers if i wanted to but i didn't get a chance to do that because i was doing other stuff so let's see which what, what i bought the first one is just a simple straight ruler and this is all engraved as well so apparently that keeps it nice and um durable and then there's a snowman and this is really good for circles it's got like the small circle and the big circle it looks like it's very limited at first but um that will show me how it works and you can actually do a lot more stuff with these circles than what you first think so and it's got all these little neat neat markings and everything else around there so you can kind of really do some fun work with it um a fairly simple concave curve which i think is really neat i've seen some people do some really cool stuff with this on instagram quilting um, and then this one I think is super fun. It's the Ninja Star and it just has all different size curves and waves and everything else And there's a lot of stuff you can do with this and then finally um, One of the ones I was really excited about that I saw on the videos was the ribbon candy You start up here you come down around here and then you move this and you do it again That looks like ribbon candy. It's a really neat effect and it comes in three different sizes and they sold it as a set so um, all up, I think it was about $75 of tax. I spent more than that on like two or three rulers last year. So they're very, very reasonably priced. They seem very durable. I'd be, um, I'm going to do a video on these very soon on, on how to, how I'm using them. I figured I need to learn how to use them sooner rather than later. And I figured why not bring you all along for the ride? Whether that's on a live or a pre-recorded video, I don't know yet. We'll figure it out as we go along. But very, very soon you'll get to see me use those and get some practice with it. And then the other thing I bought um, was the unintended purchase, but I thought, why not? Let's take the plunge. So many of you have asked me to do FPP or foundation paper piecing projects. 
There is another project I'll be um, starting very soon, um, which is a little simpler, and I thought it might be a good way for me to leapfrog into this, but this is what I got. It's by Legit Kits, and it's called Toasted Dragon, and he looks really, really neat. I love the fire breathing. And what I did is I did not buy the kit. Um, you can buy the um, pattern by itself or the kit, which comes with all the fabric. And I was sitting there talking to the guys, and I thought, you know, they mentioned a couple of people on their group um, make this in different colors. So rather than it being red, it's like blue or um, other different colors. And I thought, why not? I mean, I have all these solids at home. They would look fantastic in this project. And I was thinking a green dragon with this ba black background and the, all the yellows and orange fire flames look really neat. Um, but I would love to hear what color, if you did this, what color would you make the dragon? Because I'd love to hear what you think as well. So I'm looking forward to doing this in the near future. It's I have no firm timeline on this, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm, I figure it's a good way for me to learn some more complex foundation paper piecing and kind of mix it into the other projects that I'm doing. I had fun um, talking to everybody at the Quilt Festival and you know doing today's podcast with you guys as well. And I always love hearing from you. So if you leave a comment, I will read it and reply to it as soon as I can. I am still trying to catch up, but I will catch up. I do read them pretty much right away. I just don't always get a chance to respond right away. Uh, but please be assured I do read your comments and value each and every one of them. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, share and like. And we'll see you all in the next video, which will be tomorrow night, where we get to um, find out which of the fabrics is the arm um, champion. Have a great day. Happy sewing. Bye.